Famous Art Show Live, Episode 2. We're going to talk about my art collection with various artists I collected in over a 20 year period. Episode 2 of the Famous Art Show. Host, Mwah, Wandom. How's everybody today? It's early. It's only 11.49, lunchtime. Good time to take a chat and talk about the importance of art collection. In this episode, I'm going to say whoever's turned on here, I'll welcome you. Hi, how are you doing? In this episode, I'm going to talk about my art collection, why I did it, and how important it is to collect us living artists today. Um, hi, here. Welcome to the show. Here's a, here's a drawing I bought over 20 years ago by the artist Pedro Fuller. It's called... It's called Sleepy. It's one of my first purchases I did. Bought it in Jersey in one of his solo shows at the... Uh, at the Walt Whitman Cultural Arts Center, which is called now in Camden, New Jersey, is where I purchased that wonderful piece called Sleeping. Pedro Fuller had invited me to that exhibition to see this renowned art show that he was involved in and I had the privilege to see this work and the access to actually purchase it. My god, I'm so happy to own this piece along to the live broadcast. It's just it's just an amazing piece of artwork. Um, I live with this drawing every day. It's in my living room. I see it every day. I talk about it sometimes um, and it's just a pleasure to own. It's a drawing of eyes asleep. I mean literally this 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 drawing I fell in love with it and when I went to the show I, I told the artist it's sold. He was like what? He said yeah I, I bought it and this is one of the little treasures that I own but what I what I'm talking about in the show is the importance of art collection. Everybody comes around in their life and they talk about their encounters with art shows, museums, um, and people who go to these institutions and venues. And they see something they like and it's a one-time thing. You purchase it, you keep it, and you live with it every day. It, it, it's, 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 just, it's like your child. Inspires me to do this. Um, here's a portrait I've done of Ellen and Joe Tiberino. Ellen Powell Tiberino and Joe Tiberino. Uh, they're, they're like, for me, they're like my parents of art. This is a drawing I did of them this is in 1993. And this is my this is my version of my love for them. And my art family, Joseph and Ellen Powell Tiberino with their young son. Raphael Tibrino, who is my friend for over 30 years. I met him in art camp, I tried to speak to him in Spanish. He let it known that he could not speak the language, but he spoke the language of art that we share today. Thank you, the Tibrino family. They, they always supported artists. Anybody that knows them, they went to the compound in West Philadelphia. Now it's the Ellen Powell Tibrino Museum. But this, this drawing right here is my tribute to them. If anybody wants it, this drawing is available for purchase until I just change my mind. Of, of being an artist, of having fun, also being serious about the business and, and their, their, uh, their incredible advice about art and life. And, and I miss them both. They're now deceased, but they're, ever, they're forever in my heart and my soul. But the works that I'm showing you is what inspires me to do this type of work. Period. Um, we're going to go to another piece that I really love. It's by Raphael Tiberius. If you saw the first episode, um, I talked about Raphael's work and one of the pieces that I don't own, but I refrain from. Here's one that I do own. There's a bar fight. I bought this some time ago. Had it framed up. And you see, you see, um, I think that's Phil Sumter, and then he's like, in, this may be in Dirty Franks, you'll see Joe Tiberino in the background somewhere. But this is a wonderful drawing, I, I just, I, when I saw this, I just bought this thing, and, and I'm just proud. I see this drawing every day. I don't know if you can see it clearly um, here. But if you have any questions about 
why I do this and any advice that you think I can help you with on why to buy art and who to invest. These artists that I'm showing you now, even including me, I would definitely, uh, I would best believe, definitely buy because you're supporting them, you're actually supporting the community, and you're not only, and you're giving them supplies to actually work with, and, and this is something very, very, very important. It, an artist, we artists support artists, we're the ones that mainly collect artists too as well, in some cases, even in the higher, in the blue chip tier, you, 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 you'll hear, I heard stories where, um, <clears throat> where one professor of mine, well, visiting professor at the time at PAPA when I was going to take my MFA, he had told me that he had a show and and a lot of the artists <clears throat> would buy his work when they were up they knew him. And I'm like, wow, that makes sense. And that's one of the things they did that I'm actually doing right now and I'm promoting this famous art show episode two. This is the second episode of and this is all about art and the importance of collection collecting art. You don't you're, we're as people we're not obligated to buy anything anything that we don't want to do, but if we have a piece of artwork hanging in our homes, per se, and we look at it, and it brings us into the space and say, wow, this is, this is us here, We're, this is a part of my memory here that I'm reliving and seeing, and, and, you know, it's just a joy to have art at home. Anyone that collects art knows this. It's not a business. It's just a, an, it's something to enjoy, something to love. Um, here's a piece I exchanged with um, with the famous Dan Miller from the Pennsylvania Academy. One of my uh, undergrad instructors from the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts is part of the poet Camus. He, he, he traded one of my drawings for this piece and he had it framed for me. I was like, wow, beautiful, beautiful woodcut. Having this drawing here before he released it to me was in an exhibition too. I'm like, wow, this drawing was actually shown in, in a gallery before he let it let it loose to me, and now it's hanging in my room. I'm in my room. I love this piece. I'm, I'm thinking about literature when I look at this piece. Thinking about all the great um, literary minds that inspire us to be artists. But if you have any questions about art collection, please let, let me know. This, this is part of my personal collection that I'm sharing with the world and, and this wonderful audience. Um, you know, this, this is something um, that, that I encourage you to do. It's not the price of the work, it's the value of the artist and the, and the value of the experience that comes with the work. Uh, over here is one of my prizes, I call uh, this is original Ellen Powell Tiberino work on paper. I'm gonna bring that out right now. I have a little space here. It's a piece that I saw at the Han Gallery. Now, I've always been mesmerized. I went to that show. She sold every piece, maybe a, a few of these that didn't sell, that I managed to acquire 20 years ago um, from Joe Tiberino himself. Mrs. Harry's garden. I, I, this piece, I, I, I treasure this piece. I wake up to her. I sleep with her. I mean, this, this, this piece were a woman, she would be my wife. Uh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful drawing in color, um, done by the great Ellen Tiberino in original. If you look closely on the top part of the tree, you see that you, you'll see that um, indentation there. It's like, it's like a black scribble and I would stare at that, literally stare at that, and wonder what the hell this was. But this is one of my babies. I, I'm not gonna give her up. She, she's gonna be donated or, or given to a family member after I pass. This is this is personal for me. Um, anybody that owns anything by Ellen, the great 
great Dylan Tiberino myself would probably say the same thing. And this is such a wonderful piece. I'm having there we go. That's that's a better view of it. I I'm telling you, this this is this is like the, this is the cream of the crop for me. Um, and this is why art is so important to collect. Uh, you go to a gallery, you have money, you don't have money. Make payments if you have to. Have collateral. Just I mean, there, there's some stories where I hear clients had paid an entire year of an electric bill just to own a, acquire a piece of art. I mean, stuff like that. Art is just love because that's a form of payment. You know, we, we artists love art, collect art when we can in our homes, in our studios. You know, it's just part of the language of being art. Here, here's a piece that I that I never thought I would buy, but it took me a year to buy. Um, Gabriel Fuller, we're going back to him. He had me keep some of his paintings in my home at the time in Jersey. And I stored at this piece and I decided to buy it. This is called um, Miradas Locas. This is crazy looks. This is actually the wake up piece of the other one. And this is another prize of mine. It's a beautiful, beautiful painting. And, you know, it, 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 I look at this every day. It's almost like I have the drawing that sleeps and I have the painting that's awake in a way, it, which is really weird. Um, but to say, you know, look, look at the details of this painting. Wow. How it's painted. I mean, this is this is this is abstract surrealism. Whatever you look at it, at its best. And this is something that I implore for people who are out there that have extra cash. Support us. Support us. Any old way you see. We, we, we have bills just like you. But if you have more to give, give the artist and the community love. Because we're here for you. Um, this show. All about, all about this. This is a drawing I did, and this one is called Moonlight Sonata. He said I exhibited so many times. And I'm still trying to find the hope for it. It's about the turn of the century. The lady, um, you see, uh, you know, an old time radio player there, industrial age. You know, the time of Picasso, the time of Romanticism. I mean, you have the whole bit, but. It's not all about this, it's, I'm rephrasing that, it's about the art collection and the importance of collecting art. Again, any questions out there, anybody? I see a lot of people are here and tuned in. Anyone have, has anyone bought art out there? I mean, is anyone interested in buying art? Like, what are we here? But I want to cut it short. I thank everybody. Harry Marriott, I see you. Hey, Asmir, New York, Easton, another great artist. Hi, Alyssa. Ashok from India. Hello, how you doing, sir? And Tim Round. These are people from the internet that I do know. Thanks for being a part of the famous art show and the importance of art collection. But right here, this is a testament that by living artists do not, you know, do whatever you want, but by us because you're, you're supporting not only the artists, you're supporting their lifestyle, you're supporting their their ways and means of living. And you're actually giving them supplies to do this stuff. Okay? Listen, thank you everybody. You've been wonderful. I love you. It's been an awesome group. I'm going to keep this short. And uh, thank you for joining me, everyone that is on the show. I'll be doing this once in a while. I'll be presenting different topics on the Famous Art Show. This is a Famous Art Show Live. And right now I'm giving you an introduction of a movement of artists in the Philadelphia Tri-State area. And this is what the Famous Art Show is about. But also, this is the importance of collecting art. If, if you have space in your house, if you've been collecting artwork, you know we're here. 
my Facebook where you see something you like on my website everything's there and the other artists that I talk about Pedro Fuller Dan Miller Raphael Tiferino Ellen Tiferino support them as well they're part of our community they're part of we are famous now thank you everyone for joining me in this episode 2 of the importance of collection introducing the Ellen Powell Tiberino Contemporary Museum of Art with the artist Raphael Tiberino, who I collected over the years. Very phenomenal artist. Um, Pedro Fuller also, another artist that I collected over the years. In the next photo, you're going to see old articles of groups that I've attended, been a part of artists that I deal with that I no longer deal with, solo shows. This art collecting and this art movement is so important for the public to understand whereas we artists and what we do and how we travel and how we present ourselves as talented creative persons is a definite factor. This is a self-portrait I did of myself smiling which I rarely do because of my teeth. My little doodles that I do a lot but Thank you for attending and coming this far and listening to the Famous Art Show.